So a structural realist says that um, scientists don't really make ontological commitments um, that particular kinds of things exist. A uh, structural realist says that science is about finding out about the mathematical relations between posited entities, whereas the ontological realist um, says that uh, there are particular kinds of things with particular kinds of properties that exist in the world. Um, I tend to favour uh, ontological realism um, because I think sci scientists do make real ontological commitments uh, in their scientific theories. Like for example, uh, Isaac Newton uh, with his um, three laws of motion and universal law of gravitation. He postulated that there were these hard impregnable uh, atomic objects that clumped together uh, and uh, they obeyed particular laws that the structural realists uh, 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 like. Um, but Newton said there really are these hard, little, tiny, indestructible balls uh, and they exist in absolute space and absolute time. That's with an absolute, a capital A and a capital S and a capital A and a capital T. So there were strong ontological commitments there. And then, of course, when Newtonian mechanics was overthrown by um, Einsteinian mechanics, um, out went the absolute space and absolute time. So there was a shift in the ontological commitment. So even though the ontological commitments change with a new theory, we can't avoid the fact, historically, that the scientific theories do make ontological commitments. Now, the structural realists say, oh, okay, then the ontological commitments change uh, with scientific revolutions, so let's not commit to uh, these entities posited by uh, the scientists. They're not really positing entities, they're really just positing the we should really just take note of the mathematical relations between them. But the thing is, where the predictions, where the ability of, of scientists to make novel predictions come from those ontological commitments. And actually it's those ontological commitments um, that give us the, what's called the heuristics of a scientific theory. The power of a scientific theory to look in new areas because analogies are drawn between the um, entities that are posited in the theory with other systems that they know about. So the ontological commitments are a fundamental part of a, a scientific theory and just can't be done away with, I think. So that's why I tend to favour ontological realism over structural realism. What is good about structural realism is highlighting the importance of uh, mathematical formula because that's, I think, what the um, the naive inductivists left out, although the later, the later inductivists did a lot of work in statistics and probability theory. Um, but the, it's the building of the relationships, the, the, the real relationships between the entities posited in the model um, that, that gives the power to a scientific theory. Uh, so I think that's what's good about structural realism picking up the importance of the mathematical model, the mathematical model, but where I think they go astray is they don't link the mathematical model to the posited real entities in the world. They think that's not really important. Much like, yeah, similar vein to the instrumentalists. There's probably some co kind of cross-pollination um, uh, between the instrumentalists and structural realists. That's an interesting question which um, I'd, I'd be interested to look more into actually.